Inside of Unity, when you want to connect it up to Visual Studio, you can go over to the menu bar, Edit, on the top left. Go down until you see the option for Preferences. Inside the Preferences, you have a couple of options. The first one, General. You're going to notice that there are a couple of options on how it's going to load. So for instance, if you want auto refresh, if you want it to always load the previous project, um, different ones that are just allowing you to have quicker access or make it more custom for you. There's another option which is script changes while playing. You can actually say that you don't want them to change. This is going to come into play that um, if you're coding, you may want to code some stuff while it's fresh on your mind and save it, but you don't want it to change the Unity uh, application because it'll do an auto, it's going to do an auto rebuild and uh, it'll actually force it to not recompile until the play button is stopped. And that allows you to actually code while you're working because you may find a bug while you're playing and you want to go ahead and uh, correct it in code, but you don't want to stop playing. And so that, that just helps you do it, be able to do it that way. And then if you go down to the external tools, inside of here there is a external script editor. And if it's not already connected, then you can go and you can say, uh, if you have the option to see it from here on the dropdown, choose it from here. If you don't see that, then you can either say open by file extension or browse. If you click on the browse option, then you just want to make sure that you're actually browsing through until you find the location for it. And that's going to allow you to take it so that you find your application. And on your computer, you just want to navigate to your program files and then to the Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, if that's the install that you currently have, Community Common 7 IDE. And you, need, you may need to pause just so you can actually see this and uh, get to it. Inside of the IDE, you'll have one that is dev environment, D-E-V-E-N-V.exe. This will be the one that you actually click on, and that's going to be the one that links to Visual Studio so that it launches. And you can just click open once you have it connected. I've already got it connected through here, and you should probably already have this. This should be the, the, uh, the options that show up. Um, Unity basically finds what you currently have and then makes sure that you have it visible. But if you don't have those, then you can always go to Browse and set it specific. Whichever one the external script editor is actually connected to, I'm going to go ahead and close this here. Whichever one it's connected to, when I'm over inside of here and I double click on any files, when I double click on a file, it's going to automatically open Visual Studio. It's going to set up the project for us and then it's going to display whatever file that we clicked on. If your Visual Studio is a light screen, the theme is just a light color, and you want to make it a dark color, you can go to the menu, to tools, go down to options, and inside of options, the first one in environment general, there is a color theme, light, dark, blue. You can say dark, and when you click OK, it's going to actually change the uh, color setup for you. There you go. And then from here, you can also go to options. And then inside of the, uh, the text editor, in terms of each one, they have options that you can go into, change color, spacing, and all that good stuff with it. So that one, this takes a little bit more time, but this is very personalized. You can say that you want spaces in a certain spot, uh, that you want certain formatting to happen every time you push the space bar or you push a certain character on the keyboard. So there we go. That changes your color theme and then also sets you up to be able to change out how you want to have the typing displayed and the color displayed.